You befriend my ex, and I'll befriend your ex. What? You befriend my ex, and I'll befriend your ex. Your favorite cow, Betsy, has mad cow disease? Take her to the vet. Can we stop this stupid game for like 10 seconds and discuss my plan? It's the same premise as Alfred Hitchcock's book, Strangers on a Train. Hitchcock wrote books? Oh, I forgot who I was dealing with. Let me put it in terms you might understand. It's the same premise as Throw Mama from the Train. A Danny DeVito classic. I love it. Yes, so then you understand the plan. Yes, I do. You kill my wife, I killed your mama. I'm just saying. I think if I could bang any woman in history, though, I'd be Helen Keller. She's got two qualities I like in a chick. Can't see me coming? Can yell for help? Rick is down. Okay. Oh, Ricky Stone. Good friend of mine. Hey, Rick, don't quit your day job. Go get my car, all right? Thank you. Holy crap. Are you guys ready for more show? My God, we're going to get you laughing, I swear to God. Me? Interesting set you had there. Thanks. Sometimes you gotta shock the crowd. Mission accomplished the band. Bartender, a beer, and a Diet Coke, extra caffeine for myself. So, where else can I see you perform? To be honest, I really haven't been doing much performing. I, don't know, I, I broke up with my ex, and uh, I don't know. I started drinking. I guess I started becoming the guy on stage. I'm a guy who knows a thing or two about the ladies. And if you get back together with your ex, you'll be performing all over the country. The Vault. You'll have your own sitcom. I'm gonna get my own sitcom because I call my ex? Bingo! That doesn't make any sense. I tell you what. You call your ex? I'll pick up your bar tab. That we can do. Tell you what, I'm gonna go take a leak. You uh, settle the tab and uh, I'll think about it. A deal has been made. Bartender, tab please for my buddy. I'm paying. Thank you very much. Any of these yours? Shawley Temple, really? Hi. Hey. That's my favorite book. Really? Mine too. I like to read on my lunch break from work. Me too. How funny. What's up? Fettuccine Alfredo? Yeah, I make it myself. Me too. It's, it's the, the only, only thing, thing I, I can, can make. make. Weird. Very weird. Okay, on the count of three, your favorite movie. One, two, three. Titanic. The team you bet on lost. You owe your bookie $400. Seriously, laundry sounds fun right now. So how's Project Ricky going? Pretty good. He mentioned you. He did? What did he say? Spin and I'll tell you. If you don't tell me, I'll spin you. Calm down. He said you were quite the looker. Wow. You also said you had a bad temper and you were a control freak. What? What did you say? I agreed with him. What? Calm down. That's what guys do. He'll be calling you soon enough. Okay. How is Operation Sour going? It's going well, actually. After the successful park routine, we exchanged numbers, talked a few times. By the way, the picture you gave me did not do her justice. She is gorgeous. I did not see that coming. Why not? Whatever. So did she mention me? Actually, you never came up. What? Relax, we're hanging out next week. You set me up with a guy? I told you I was only gonna call my ex if you agreed to the double date. But a guy? Because you're gay. I'm not gay. You're not? I like the ladies. When you say ladies, you mean like men who dress as women? No, I'm straight. All right, well, my bad. 
but you're still going through with the double date. You're the one who told me I should even call her. But if he thinks he's getting any action, he is mistaken. Fair enough. Oh, here's Jennifer and Leslie now. Jennifer? I thought you were calling your ex April. No, see, I went two exes ago. Better chance than a sitcom, right? Why is Leslie wearing a top hat? That's good, that's good. Save that witty conversation for Leslie. <laughs> You've been demoted to private for suggesting nap time. I can't believe you convinced Ricky to go out with Jennifer. I never liked that bitch. A tank ran over your foot. Hop on over to the hospital. Why are you all dressed up? I had dinner with Sarah. She's so smart. You know, she scored a perfect... I know, a perfect score on her SAT. Yeah. I can't believe you dated her. Why not? Whatever. Those two were not meant for each other anyway. They argued the whole time. I have him convinced that you're the one for him. Really? Yes. You defused the bomb and were awarded the Medal of Honor. Ooh, a phone call. Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have given Leslie my number. This is just wrong. What's wrong? Playing a board game on a Saturday night. I don't see anything wrong with that. We're at a bar. We're back on the streets in a Sorry. Around. We can have another beer, but I gotta cut your friend off. He's having way too much caffeine and it's freaking me out. Well, I do what I do and I said what no offense, I mean. I it's my job, I'd want to kill myself. Why would kids even want to play this game? Just and ladies, don't forget the ladies. Speaking of which, have you called your ex yet? What are you talking about? You were there. It's a disaster. At least you almost got some. You called two exes ago. You're supposed to call your last ex. That's the rule. No, it's screwed. I didn't call April. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. April's a very popular name. What's her last name? Ursler. Bingo! Call away. I'll do some cleaning, some maintenance. Oh, we don't combine tabs this time. Fool me once, aha, fool me twice, something else. There's my man, the man of the hour. How did it go? She's a lesbian. What? She's dating a girl named Sarah. Sarah? Don't worry about it. Ricky Stone kept his cool. I got a plan. Plan, you say? And I'm gonna need your help. It's kind of like throw mama from the train. Oh, I'm gonna need a whiskey. Hey, bro. So, Ricky, I have to admit, I was shocked to hear you're gay. You always came across as such a tough guy. You know, I thought society wouldn't accept the true Ricky Stone. Sensitive one. So when are we meeting this mystery man you've fallen in love with? Should be here by now. Such a diva. There's the love of my life! Peter? Ladies? Ricky? Why are you dressed like Elton John? Leslie took me shopping. He even gave me his top hat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maggie. I'll be taking care of you. That okay. would be fantastic. Be a doll, coat room. Thank you. Such a deal. Uh, all right, um, uh, April, Peter, Sarah, Peter? I know who he is. He dumped me. You he dumped, dumped her? her? Because my left foot is a little bit bigger than my right one. By a half an inch? Some people are born that way. Do you know that till this day, I still am afraid to take my shoes off? Calm down. That's why you wear shoes to bed. Well, love me not. Just in case you didn't get the memo, I am now a homosexual. Well, I'm happy for you. Thank you. And Ricky has beautiful little feet. Would you excuse me for a moment? I have to use the restroom. <laughs> Peter, would you like to join me? <laughs> What are you doing? Are you really gay and dating Ricky? No! Apparently you're not the only one who gets the amazing ideas from Danny DeVito movies. What? 
And now he has you acting like his sex toy? No, we're in love. Would you knock it off? What about you? Are you really a lesbian or did I miss a scene from Throw Mama from the Train? Yes, Sarah's gorgeous and smart and funny. You know, I always assumed she was ugly. Why? Whatever. Where did I tell you to steal my ex anyway? Well, I really like Sarah. Even though it is really sweet to see that Ricky went through all that trouble for me. He'd do anything for you. He loves you. Really? Really. Wow. Sarah's great and all, but Ricky's one of a kind. He's someone you could imagine spending the rest of your life with. He sure is. What? Listen, you already stole my woman. Now you want to steal my man too? You're not gay! Oh yeah. This thing's getting very confusing. <sighs> So then I said, there's no way that's my penguin. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Uh, hey guys, while you were gone, me and Sandra kind of hit it off. It's, it's Sarah. Me and Shannon realized that uh, we kind of have a lot in common. And you know, exes are exes for a reason. Sarah. Yeah, we hate to come and go, but uh, I think we're gonna get out of here and maybe go Play footsie. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys have a nice night, though. The lamb chops are spectacular here. I can't believe this. Well, it's a half an inch, buddy. A half an inch. They won't have any fun playing footsie. Don't worry. It's going to be OK. I have a plan. Have you ever seen an indecent proposal? I'll have the lamb chops, please. Yes. 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 Calm down. Yes. But yes. But Calm down. But ladies. Bingo. 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 Yes. Calm down. Yes. But yes. 